What's up guys, good morning. I hope your day is going as well as Leo's because he is loving life today. It is a bright new day and we are heading down to the shop because today is Mountain Made Mondays and we have a really exciting new project to share with you guys. Sweat on your shirt, or are you just dirty? Oh yeah, no, that's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting kind of hot in these rhinos. <laughs> so in this van, we're actually putting a 20-gallon propane tank. It's a massive propane tank. It's going to run the cooktop and it's going to run the furnace. One of our issues with Pamela Vanderson is we could only fit a small propane tank in there, and in the winter time, the furnace would like use up the propane very quickly. So you're like constantly looking for places to fill up on propane. This baby's gonna have double the propane. So we have this new four x four Sprinter. We're really excited about it. It's a 170 wheelbase. And uh, I don't think we're gonna reveal yet exactly what's happening here, but um, you might be able to guess. Maybe you can leave some guesses in the comments below who this van might be being built for. Uh, and today we're helping these guys install the propane tank. This is a new, facility that our shop is in um, but there's no air, there's no air conditioning and there's no heat right there's there's heat, there's heat. It just costs six hundred dollars a month to keep it comfortable you know? the heat is really expensive and there's no air conditioning um, and Matt and Bryce have just been dying here all summer they got a little like portable swamp cooler to actually like circulate some of the air but these guys are so hot so any day now we're starting a, a GoFundMe not for the wall of sound just for air conditioning. It's like my V-dub. No AC, <laughs> only heat. Uh. You got all the ratchets. They wore shorts. Yeah. Take your pants off. Shorts. It's you just us. You need to just cut these short, short these pants into shorts. Like Daisy Dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. pockets hanging out. Well, I thought that shade level was your sweat. I was like, Christ. It is. <laughs> it, is. it looks like I got ink on my chest. Yeah. But it's just beads of sweat it's pouring like, through. Yeah. I bet I could make it worse if I just rub it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> guys we are getting a nice slow start to the morning today Brandon and I need to rack and straighten all of the trusses and then start getting all the bracing done and then hopefully start doing a lot of the sheathing on the outside to get everything really braced together There you are, good girl. Good girl. Good. Come on, Frank, inside. My sun hat is definitely <laughs> seeing better days. I don't even know if that's going to stay on my head anymore. My ears are the only thing holding it up. <laughs> Um, Brandon just showed up. I'm fully dressed. Allie is actually going to be taking Leo to his nine month uh, doctor's appointment to go and get some checkups and some percentages. For those of you guys that haven't had a kid or maybe haven't had a kid recently, whenever you take them, they say, This is where your child places and all of the other children. And you get like a percentage of height and weight and head size. And it's, it's just stressful. Just makes you feel like a crappy parent sometimes because you're like, What? He's only 10%? <laughs> He looks really tall and, you know, like he has a normal sized head and it's like, nope, he's small in every way. And it's like, well, we still love him. But <laughs> anyway, Brandon and I are going to get to work. We're going to go out and start racking those uh, trusses and start getting them braced and hopefully start doing some sheathing while Allie runs to the doctor. Today is going to be a fun day. Standing here 
Should only be nailed from your side. We're not running into problems, are we? Oh no. Okay. No, everything's good. Okay. All right, you guys be super safe, please. I'll be right back. Okay. Hopefully with good news from the doctor. Awesome. All right, good luck. All right, so Allie's running to the doctor. We're gonna continue working. We're basically just trying to get everything ready up here so that we can start racking the trusses and get our cross braces put on. There's so much bracing that has to happen on these trusses, it's like not even funny. And that's like before we can even start putting the caps on. We need to do that like today or tomorrow so that we can get this forklift taken back because it is super expensive per day. And basically today, I think we have good weather. Tomorrow it might rain, so we gotta, we gotta bust our butts. Every season. appointment in three months since he, Leo was six months old so it'll be really interesting to see what has changed how much he's grown he seems to be doing really well um, but just to get a little bit of reassurance and validation from um, our doctor hopefully it will be really nice um, it's amazing last night he cut another tooth so he's had one bottom tooth for like a month now and we were just waiting like does he have any other teeth in there and last night he cut his second bottom like front tooth so that's really exciting and he's actually been handling it really well he's been sleeping great he's been sleeping through the night consistently which for the first eight and a half months he woke up like two to four times a night so um, I'm really appreciating these full nights of sleep and really just looking forward to um, all the continuing exciting changes. It really does get like more and more fun. The older they get, the more interactive he has become. So we're just appreciating and really just trying to savor every day. Oh, you're good. That was good. All right, so we've got the forklift in position. We've got a two by six across the forklift and we are racking the trusses. Brandon is up there with a level to tell us right when everything's perfect. He's got the nail gun and a cross brace and he's gonna get everything ready and shoot it in as soon as the bubble sits in the right spot. Gotta come in just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so with a little bit of finesse and some careful joystick work, I think we've got enough pressure on the trusses that all the trusses are sitting plumb. Now, basically what happened is we put these two by sixes on the back of the, the garage so that it would hold the first truss straight up and down. Both of those two by sixes were not perfectly straight and not in great shape and they were both kind of like leaning inwards. So when we put that first truss on and nailed it to them, it was holding the truss up, but it was holding it in a little bit. Now what we did is we cut every block at the same distance, which is what our spacing should be for each stud. So every truss is braced at the proper distance, but everything is leaning forward just a little bit. So now we're pushing them back until they're plumb. We're gonna put some cross braces on there, nail every stud to the cross braces, and then everything should be nice and plumb and square up there. Or at least, you know, maybe just barely a hair out of square. One of them is good and the rest aren't. Okay. All of these trusses are blocked at the top and the bottom and it's proving that those blocks are holding it really rigid and it's becoming a little bit more difficult than we thought to kind of rack all of these. They're racking evenly, it's just I'm putting a lot of pressure on this and we don't want to like break anything and they're, they're not going super, super far. So I guess uh, we're gonna give it a little bit more of a push. It's just a barely, barely out of level. So we're gonna push it a little bit more till it's level, put some cross braces on it and we're moving on. We got this side all cut off. Kent's working on the other side. I'm gonna cut a couple of these sheets down so we can start sheeting this wall. Cold hand frozen. 
toes and feet Raindrops falling on the street I can't recall when I last saw the sun Summer's just a memory A faded piece of history No one can remember all the fun The late night barbecue Zipping on a genie Here. Good. Pretty good. Are you racked and loaded? We're racked and loaded. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, it looks good. Yeah. So now we're starting to sheathe this wall here. We're just about done. We've got to sheathe the other side, and then I think we need to do the floor. I'll try and give him five ounces, which most kids his age are probably just devouring five ounces. Right. And Leo like can't even drink it in a sitting. Right. You have to like give it to him a couple times. Trent and I were just talking a little bit about how the doctor's appointment went with Leo this morning. His nine month checkup went really well. And honestly, the doctor was very pleased with uh, how mobile he is, how physically active he is, his dexterity, like all these different skills are great. Uh, his height is around the 50 percentile for, uh, for the growth charts. His head circumference is good. His weight is really low. So he eats a lot. He eats like 35 to 40 ounces of breast milk a day and he's on um, multiple solid meals a day, but he's at like 4% for weight, which there's a huge range of variability for what's normal for kids. So you kind of have to take that number with a grain of salt, but it does kind of bum you out a little bit as a parent when you just want to be like doing everything that you can and like creating the best opportunity for your child to grow into, you know, a healthy, regular sized adult. Um, so I think we're going to ramp up our foods and just try to push, push the solid meals a little bit more, maybe ramp up to three meals a day and hopefully he'll start to eat instead of just play with the food, which is what he prefers to do at the moment. Most of the food just falls on the floor and the dogs eat it, but he does enjoy mashing it around in his mouth and then spitting it out. But also Trent keeps telling me like he is really skinny and he he was never high up in the growth charts for weight when he was growing up and he turned out perfectly healthy and normal. So I'm just trying not to be super bummed out about it. And uh, if anybody has any good recommendations for baby meals that you love that are tried and true that maybe I should start incorporating into Leo's diet, I'm always looking for fun, new creative ways to give him solids that he will actually eat instead of just play with and throw on the floor. <laughs> Tonight we have homemade guacamole, uh, freshly cut strawberries, and a slightly seasoned scrambled egg. This is a spoon. Is it good? Are you a happy boy? Yeah! Honestly, he really enjoys uh, playing with the spoon and mashing the food around in his hands a lot more than actually eating the food, which is totally normal. Everybody keeps reassuring me that that's just uh, part of the process of getting used to eating solids. So we're just gonna ramp up the number of meals we offer him and continue to diversify um, different textures, different flavors. Um, they're all appropriately cut and cooked for his age. And they're all super healthy and delicious. So hopefully eventually he'll start to just eat a little bit more. Uh, here, you do it, you do it. Yeah, good buddy, yay. You gotta eat it. Good. Excellent. 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 Uh, I think I'm dying. Why? What happened? I'm just having a hard time out there in the heat. Oh, 
Well, we got one squall. One, one squall? One out of four. How's it going so far? Are you enjoying your meal? You look like you're enjoying your meal. Yeah. It's funny because no matter how big of a mess he makes, the floor under the high chair is the cleanest part of the entire house. These dogs know exactly where to be. But while Leo is eating his little brunch lunch, the big boys are also super tired, hot, hungry, and getting a little lunch of their own. Go. Dang, girl, look Not, at that mayonnaise. Nothing fancy. I know you yeah. like your mayonnaise. <laughs> Give me some of that. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Also, do you guys like our van life inspired screen door? It's come really in handy for keeping the bugs out uh, and the fresh air in, which I absolutely love. It always makes me so nervous watching these guys be so up high on the roof doing things on top of the garage, but I know that they're being safe and safety is always our number one priority, which brings me to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Surfshark and they are a VPN, a virtual private network that helps make sure you are staying safe on the internet. Anytime you're connected to an unsecured network, whether that's at an airport, a coffee shop, a grocery store, a library, you are leaving yourself vulnerable to being hacked, to getting your data stolen, to getting your password stolen, all of your information is vulnerable unless you have a VPN. A VPN like Surfshark encrypts all your incoming and outgoing data so that nobody can access any of the information on your phone, your computer, your tablet, iPad, any of your devices. It keeps you safe online. Everybody should have a VPN, and if you don't have one yet, you need to check out Surfshark. They have an amazing deal for you. If you click our link in the description and use code Trent and Allie, you'll actually get three months free and 83% off. It's a huge savings for something that is so important important in your life. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Check them out if you haven't already. Is that Leo boy? Is that Leo boy? Lunch was much needed for everybody. Just a nice little break in work. In the meantime, the weather is holding out. It's been raining the last like five days, which is great, but really stalled our progress here on the garage. So it's a little bit overcast. It's really warm, but it's not raining. So they're just cranking it out and it's looking really good. Well, we have been slaving away out here in the heat and we did end up getting the majority of this wall, the sheets put up on it. We just have one scab piece here and one scab piece on the other end. And then this side will be completely sheathed. Nice. We have uh, basically some blocking to do on the floor. And then we need a special type of glue for our Advantech flooring that's gonna be going down. And then we need some long two by fours to brace the tops of the trusses so that we can put the caps on. Mm. Um, most of that is probably gonna happen tomorrow. But today we're gonna try and finish these scab pieces and maybe get some of the blocking done and then we're gonna call it a day. Still quick work and it looks really good. You like that thing, huh? Huh? You like driving that thing? This? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Yeah. I backed it up over there so that I could get to a point where I could push on the right side of the trusses and yeah. I like backed the back tires kind of off of the edge over the hill oh. and then it wouldn't move. It like wouldn't go forward. Oh, that's really scary. Yeah, it was, it was basically stuck. What did you do? Just floor it? Just a lot of time and 
finesse trying to bring the bucket out in front of me and like lower it down to kind of like rock some of the weight forward while I was like driving and steering. Eventually it like barely moved forward, oh. but it was a little intense. It's a small workspace. Yeah, it's hard. Look at that. Honestly, I'm so stoked to like get the flooring put in so that you can come up there because yeah. like it's it's a 10 times better view than our bedroom. Oh, really? Yeah. Should we just live out I here? I think I might live out here. <laughs> yeah. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. <sighs> what's up, guys? It is another day, another dollar. And guess what? It's our last day with the forklift. We've got a lot to do. I went and got some glue and some nails so that we can continue putting in the flooring or we can start putting in the flooring in the loft. And then we can actually start putting on the piggybacks or the caps that go on the top of our trusses. Brandon's stopping and getting some two by fours on his way in so that we can brace those and get that all installed. But it rained this morning, so everything is soaking wet. It's not gonna stop us. It's supposed to rain again this afternoon, but I think during the middle of the day, no rain. So we're gonna go out and dry the trusses off, get some flooring up there. <sighs> we're gonna get to work, baby. What are you doing over here? Leo! <laughs> we have all these amazing toys for Leo to help stimulate his intellect and, you know, problem solving and critical thinking. And all he wants to do is play with shoes and dog bowls, especially if they're filled with water. Those are his two favorite things, shoes and dog water. I don't know what that says about a baby, but... It's definitely uh, keeps us on our toes, that's for sure. I feel like I haven't seen you in such a long time. I know it's only been like five days or something. Yeah, I just got school problems and stuff. It's school fun. Stuff. So Thug life. <laughs> Thug life. <laughs> Last night, Trent went to go find the very specific glue that is needed to glue down the floorboards uh, on our floor. It's like this cool purple, like, uh, What's that? Silly, silly string? Yeah. It's like yeah, silly, silly string. string. And they had it in stock, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, they have like an end cap with a ton of it. Wow. But I was worried because since we needed it, it was probably going to be in demand and out of stock. Yeah. But they, have, they happen to have it, which was really good. Is that what we're starting with right now? Um, there is like a little bit of blocking that we need to do. But yeah, then we'll be wow. throwing the floor up there and mounting her down. This is exciting. Yeah, it's fun. And basically there's no way to get into the uh, the loft without using a ladder because we haven't built the deck and the stairs that will come off it yet. So this is literally a giant tree house. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We need a ladder to get in. Have you not been wearing your bags recently? Well, when I have to get in and out of the forklift, it, you like can't really wear your bags because then mm. you have to, like get in there and sit down and it's like a giant mess. So I've been like going in and out so I haven't been wearing my bags. Imagine what like women that had to wear petticoats used to feel like. So in the way all the time. I imagine that women had to wear like the big butt bump. Right. That's the, what is that, that was called? the real inconvenience. Is that huh? not a petticoat? What is I that? Know, a ball dress? I have no idea. There <laughs> the is a Cinderella name for that thing. I don't bump? know what it's called. Yeah. If you know what the name of that thing is called that made the dress go like this, let us know. Because we don't know. Basically a tool belt. <laughs> I actually bet you could store stuff inside that. They didn't have cell phones back then, but like your fan, I don't know. I'm getting out of bed. Leave us some darkness. Reaching for the water glass. I need to cool my head. If the view from this loft is as good as you say it is, then we definitely have to figure out a way to connect a zip line or some slide from the house cool. and use this as our bedroom yeah <laughs> this is the actual tiny house that's trenton alley hotel yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, so 
we've got our end blocking in place. We've got the glue up there. We've got the gun. We've got all the sheets that we need. We're gonna start putting down the floor, baby. Wow. Should be quick work. These guys put down flooring. Joel's over here hard at work moving lumber like it's his job, which seems like it is. Professional wood mover. I do it all the time. I better be a professional by now. <laughs> it's your main responsibility up here. I've noticed. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do when I'm not up here. I know. I'm gonna have to settle with where the wood is. <laughs> oh, view is unbelievable. I know, right? Wow. It is nice. Why is it so much better than the house? I don't know, it's really nice. It's not funny, Trent. The only difference between us and a guy that does this every day is that I'm scared. <laughs> They're not scared, but we both have the same likelihood of falling, most likely. Ugh. Probably not. They just do it every day. Yeah. Kevin? <gasps> no. What? It couldn't be. Wow! <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> the irony, I feel, the last time we laid floor, you were here. That's so, true. Kevin, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. Good. Just immediately showing you up. Close the way, Kevin. Kevin is a paid actor. <laughs> no, no. Don't fall, Kevin. It's dangerous out there. I know. I can't stand Look on the board. He doesn't even want to stand on the board. He wants to be on the wiggly trust. <laughs> Fuck. It sounded like you said the F word. He said look. Look. I know. <laughs> on camera, it'll sound like fuck. are having a great time hanging out with Kevin, finishing up installing the floor in the little casita is what we call it, um, the little apartment above our garage. Leo is up from his nap and enjoying a little bit of a snack and I'm just getting some cleaning done around here, tidying up. It's amazing how quickly dishes accumulate and the bane of my existence are last night's dishes. So I'm cleaning them up, getting it nice and tidy in here and uh, Really, really just enjoying watching the transformation outside. All right, it actually a cloud has just moved in and given us a little bit of shade, but up until then it has been extremely hot out here. Everybody is soaking wet with sweat. We've basically got almost the entire floor laid down, glued, nailed. We just have two more little scab pieces to put in and we're done with the floor. Then we can actually move to start bracing the tops of the trusses and get our little piggyback peaks on. And that's gonna be like, you know, basically the last of setting the trusses. And then we can start building these walls and getting the walls sheathed. And then we can do the roof sheathing. It's, uh, it's coming along. Four more of these. Brandon. is fully laid down and installed and now they're starting to put end caps what are these called uh, uh, truss, caps. truss caps 
on top of the trusses. I'm gonna bust them all out at once. Oh, just get them all out there anyway. Nice. I don't uh, know if I would say bust it out, but we're gonna get it done eventually. I, eventually. Eventually. Hi, let's go. Today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's... All right, so I'm sitting up here on the very top of our trusses. We've got six of the braces on one end, and we've got two of the braces on the other end. I got four more that need to go on this side, and then everything up here will be fully braced. We can start putting the caps on, which is really exciting. I'm, I'm really just eagerly waiting to have the caps put on so that we can be done with this and we can actually take the uh, forklift back. I'm gonna be on gray, sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on gray. Kevin has been framing for like 15 or 20 years, so it's super fun to have him here and kind of show everybody how to do things efficiently, quickly, uh, confidently, he's just climbing on these trusses like they are monkey bars. Trent was really worried this morning about how much time this would all take, so he really wanted to get these truss caps and the floor fully installed, and the truss caps, I think, went even faster than the floor. It's been like five minutes, and they're nailing in the last one right now. Look at that! You did it! You did it! It's really crooked, but it's, <laughs> it's there. We can blame Kevin on that, right? Is that your dog? Is that your dog named Lika? Yeah. These guys are seriously wasting zero time. It looks like it might rain again. It's Friday afternoon. Kevin is here and when he's here, we're able to just crush quickly, it feels like. Um, everything is done except for the roof sheathing and I really did not even think that we would be able to start this today and they are just gearing up, trying to get things maybe partially installed. We'll see how far they get. Um, but it's really exciting because I know Trent would love to return this forklift. We've had it for like a week and half of that week it just sat here because it was raining and we couldn't work while it was like pouring all day. So hopefully uh, they can make some headway. It's really, really exciting. Look! I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on We'll see you when I gotta frame these walls Hey, right, it's square. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, well, thanks for coming by. Yeah. It's good to see I'd, you. I thought I'd come and see what you were doing anyway. Yeah, it's good to see you. Thank you. I get, I get pictures, but I expect you to be a lot farther along than this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we expect it to be farther I along, mean, when too. when you take five days off or nothing, <laughs> yeah. just because. <laughs> I was like, man, by August, we should have both editions <laughs> done. and. Probably be ready to put siding on. You talking about August of next year? Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Unfortunately. We'll see you guys. Thanks, All right. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. See ya. Be safe. <laughs> I mean, I'm stressed watching you guys, but it's going well, so... It's a little stressful. It's, you know, all, all good things. I can feel that. I mean, it's 228. I think we'll get this first row done and maybe a second row. I don't know. We're going to be sleeping in here by winter. Yeah, maybe. Or somebody. And we're, uh, we're using this opportunity to give Joel a chance to do a little bit of learning and kind of try something that's new for him, which is being up there and setting these sheets. And it's difficult and it's a growing experience and I'm super proud of him. These guys know what they're doing and they are helping teach Joel perfectly. Are you having fun?
All right, so we've made a lot of progress. I'm really happy about that. And we've basically done everything that we like absolutely need the forklift for. We even got the rest of our roof sheathing moved up into the actual uh, loft area so that we can just lift the sheets up and finish sheathing the roof. Today was a really, 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 really progressful, progress filled, progress filled day, progressful. I don't know, we made a progressive we made a lot of we made a lot of progress today i'm super happy we got the caps on completely we got most of the roof sheathing started we got all of the flooring done this place is transforming quick holy cow what a day freaking work you crushed it Looks we did, amazing. We did a lot, huh? So much. Back to that elf colored house. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, well, in the next video, we're gonna get more done, but we did get quite a bit done in this video. <laughs> anyway, I'm pooped. I'm gonna go shower, kick back, and probably fall asleep for the rest of the night, okay. even though it's only like four o'clock. Hi, Leo. Yeah. Do you remember me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always outside working, so when I come in, he's like, who are you? Oh yeah, you're that guy. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, watching us do crazy things up there to get the trusses in place and get some sheathing on the roof, let us know by giving us a big thumbs up on this video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. So that we can start putting down the flooring in the duck, or the, I put up, uh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs>